Well, in what can only be described as a stunning turn of events here in Waterloo Campaign 1815, on the, uh, where are we at, June 17 p.m. turn, turn number six. Welcome back to the big board, by the way. Uh, Oxbridge, who was exhausted, was attacked by Drouro and uh, forced to retreat. That's uh, Oxbridge here. He was over here somewhere. And then Hill uh, uh, responded in kind and attacked Rial, eliminated him. So he is a dead horse. He was up here somewhere, did this. And then Lebeau uh, attacked Bulow. And it was a straight up attack. Uh, blew that guy, mainly because uh, he was uh, surrounded. And because he was surrounded, my friends, not only was he blown, there was no retreat. Dead man walking. Uh, is that correct? Am I looking at the right piece? Where is he? No, that was Thielman. I wrote... Uh, I wrote... Uh... Oh, no, he was blown. That is correct. So he comes back uh, June 18 p.m. turn. Not good. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, uh, well done for the French. However, things get a little wacky here. Uh, the exhausted Cav, which I believe can still fight as is... Uh, they don't uh, provide any supporting benefit that I am aware of when they're exhausted. Uh, is that what it says? Yeah, exhausted. Uh, so uh, he attacked Zeiten. That ended up being a uh, end up being a uh, retreat result, which turned into a blown result because of the Zox as well. So that uh, that caused problems. Oh, actually. Oh, I, I missed. I miswrote that. There we go. That got that was up in the other. Uh, that was for this other attack. Zayden just retreated. He's right here. Uh, and then here's here's what uh, here's where the stunning turn of events occurred. Hill attacked again from here, and uh, ended up with a uh, what I thought was going to be a kill uh, against Gerard here. But ended up being just a retreat. But what we've seen is this beautiful line that the French had. They were, you know, mo moving forward against Blucher and uh, trying to move up against Wellington, trying to work out how to fight both of them. Well, it's it's they've done well over here against the Prussians. But if if Wellington is in range, if th three hexes of uh, any one of these attacking forces, it's ninety nine if they attack because they get uh, they start out with a plus four let alone adjacent units or Oxbridge uh, being available to support the attack. It's a beatdown. So currently, as it stands, both sides have a unit. Here, let's come over here and have a look. Both sides have a unit in uh, in the box, as they say, in ho hockey. And uh, the Prussians have lost three formations. The French won, and then the, that's the detachment losses as well. It's been fairly bloody. We're moving into June 18, the AM turn, and uh, it's still very much anyone's game. And despite the poor showing of the Prussians, I would hazard to say that unless the uh, unless the French can pull something out of their hats, uh, if Wellington gets aggressive, they're going to be in a lot of trouble. Uh, so. Uh, it's going to come down to a points count on divisions. The good news is they can't kill the uh, Imperial Guard uh, Corps, which I think counts for extra VPs because it's off the map until the last turn, and it will not be anywhere near them <coughs> for the entirety of, the, of that last turn. So it may be time for the French to turtle up, uh, pick some good terrain, and, and just hope for the best and, and, and not to lose any valuable formations so that they can um, hold out for a, a win by VP count. How very un-Napoleonic of me. But that's kind of the, uh, that's kind of the situation. Wellington could uh, be as almost be as aggressive as he wants to be and, uh, and knock the snot out of these guys uh, pretty effectively if he, if he goes after it. And I think, uh, I think that's what we're going to do as the British uh, coalition player. You can see the, the movement over the course of the game. If I squeeze all the way back to here. Pretty slow going. Not the dynamic uh, march towards Quatre Bras. 
and Monson Jean uh, further off screen there as uh, as was done historically but there you go so I thought I'd share that with you and we'll talk to you soon